So you've had your ice cap salinity pen for a while now. We will show you some easy to follow steps to ensure that the pen is always accurate. Hello and welcome to another episode of CVTV. My name is Jeremy and I'll be your host for today. In this short video, we will go over easy tips and tricks to keep your salinity pen always clean and accurate. If you find your salinity pen readout to be off, the first thing you should do is check the batteries. Normally the pen will alert you when your batteries run low, but sometimes it is best not to wait for that pen to warn you before checking the batteries. A battery tester is a very inexpensive yet useful way of monitoring the life of your batteries for all your household devices. It will allow you to easily test the power left on the battery and replace it if needed. Charged batteries will ensure that the pen is accurate on a consistent basis. If new batteries are needed, simply remove the lid at the end of the pen by using a flathead screwdriver or the included key. Gently tap the pen slightly to dislodge both batteries from the pen and replace them with a fresh set of AAA batteries. Make sure the batteries are reinstalled in the correct orientation. If after installing a fresh set of batteries and you see the pen is still a little off, then let's proceed to reset the pen to its factory calibrated settings. This usually solves inaccurate readouts. With the pen off, click the power button seven times quickly. It will turn on the screen and will display a CS. If the screen displays the word off instead, then you will need to try again. It is a little tricky and may take a few tries the first time you do it. Once you see the CS, you are in setup mode. Press and hold the power button a few seconds until the display flashes OH, followed by INTL. At this point, the pen is reset back to the default setting. The last step is to remove the battery end cap and reinstall it. Power up the pen and give it a test. In most cases, the pen is dead accurate and we would like to thank you for watching CVTV. If you would like to learn more about the salinity <laughs> Okay, so it's still not accurate. When a new set of fully charged batteries and resetting the pen does not work, then the last resort is to recalibrate the pen. Yes, you can recalibrate the ice cap salinity pen. Here's how to do it. In order to properly calibrate the pen, there's a few things that we need. A standard 53 micro siemens 1.026 salinity and 35 PPT specific gravity commercial grade saltwater calibration solution. A large container to fully submerge the tip of the pen while at the same time maintaining a required one inch clearance all the way around the tip. When calibrating the pen, be sure to submerge the tip of the pen completely so that the two rings are below the surface. Also, it is very important to ensure that there is a one inch clearance all the way around the tip of the pen. If the tip of the pen is too close to the side or the bottom surface, the calibration will be off. With the pen off, click on the power button seven times quickly. It will turn on the screen and will display a CS. If you do not see this, then try again. Submerge the tip of the pen in the calibration solution. Again, it is very important to be sure that there is enough clearance all the way around the tip of the pen. Within a few seconds, the display will flash the solidity, followed by the adjustment percentage, indicating the ice cap salinity pen has been calibrated. Turn the pen completely off to finish the calibration process. Check the accuracy against the calibration solution. To ensure long life and lasting accuracy, rinse, wipe, and store the pen in the included case. Well, that's our video for today. If you would like to learn more about the Salinity Pen or other great ice cap products, head on over to CoralView.com. If you have any questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at CoralView.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products.